Oh my God, we are celebrating the opening of hair in the rain, outdoors in Central Park. It doesn't get any better than that. It was one of the most um, magical, incredible nights of my life. It was beautiful. The audience was phenomenal. Uh, the cast on stage was truly connected. And at the end of the performance, the sky opened up and it rained on stage during the curtain call. And it was uh, unbelievable. There really are no words, but something I can think of, it's been magical, it's been amazing, it's just been really spiritual. Everyone in this cast is amazing. And what you see on stage is like us, you know, it's real love, it's kind of cheesy, but it's been the best experience of my life. This particular show has such depth and such meaning and even though it was 40 years ago it's so current for a lot of us and uh, to be a part of that and to be able to feel like you're an artist that can help make change happen or change consciousness or, or bring people up when they're down that's that's the whole goal there's so many similarities as when it was written in 67 with the unpopular war in the country um, a lot of people would say the country's kind of headed down the toilet and there's a big desire for change. We've got a candidate running for president that inspires some hope um, and all of those things are like scarily parallel to 1968 so I think it's super super relevant. How can people have no feelings? How can they ignore their friends? Easy to be hard. Easy to be cold. It's, uh, it's superb. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's perfectly, uh, uh, well, we're working with the fates, I think, because, <laughs> uh, th you know, things fall into place as you go along, and you have to go through all kinds of ups and downs. But uh, tonight, we hit the crest, <laughs> as it were. We were in sync with something. Jim played, my, played Claude, originated the role of Claude, uh, and wrote the show, so I was very nervous when I first met him because I wanted to, you know, do a good job for him. But he, since day one, has been nothing but sweet and and sincere and helpful. Not only because he wrote the show, but because he came from that time period and is, has a wealth of knowledge. It's incredible his continuing interest in making the show better and alive and tweaking things for particular actors and watching performances. I mean, he comes from the background as an actor, so he's so on sort of the moment-to-moment -moment life of the show. There's such a huge generation of people that saw the original that are coming to see this and can't wait to tell us that they saw the original it's so close to them. And then they're bringing their children and their grandchildren. It's just so meaningful to a huge part of our country and our community. No matter what age they are, they all get it and they're all affected and they get something different, which is really important, you know. And the younger kids are laughing at the mature jokes and the the older folks are laughing at the younger jokes and uh, uh, the unity of it all. I think it's unlike anything that you will experience uh, this summer or any summer. It's a beautiful, beautiful production. The cast is connected to the material, connected to each other, connected to the audience. And uh, it's a really, I think it's a very spiritual event. Uh, and I don't think that people would want to miss that. Well, the seats are all gone anyway, so. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not. Listen, my friend is shouting for me over the wings. The war is not over, so that's why we're here, and that's a very good reason we're here, and I think people will be thrilled if they come to see the show.